you're looking for some summer desserts that you can take to those barbecue cookouts this summer, then check out our summer desserts collaboration that is being hosted by Clarissa at Sunny in the Suburbs and Ashley at Her Homemaking Heart. They both have great content on their channels, lots of lifestyle and homemaking content, so please be sure to check their channels out. Links will be in the description box below, along with a playlist of my YouTube friends making some summer desserts for those barbecue cookouts or for just summer. Let's get started. Since the 4th of July is just around the corner, I thought this would be a great dessert to take to a barbecue. It is a red, white, and blue cheesecake. Very simple and easy to make. Uh, simple ingredients. And what you will need is 30 Oreo cookies with the cream in them. So 30 whole Oreo cookies. Four tablespoons of butter, and we're going to melt that. You'll also need three blocks of cream cheese that's in the background there one and a half cups of granulated sugar a fourth cup of all-purpose flour three large eggs two teaspoons of vanilla extract red and blue food coloring a fourth cup of sour cream and now i'm going to show you how quick and easy this one is to put together and this is a recipe you would want to make the night before because it does have to sit for four to six hours to set up but I just crushed those cookies in my food processor. And then I'm gonna add the four tablespoons of melted butter to this, and that will help to combine all the crumbs together. I put that to the side. I lined a nine by 13 inch baking dish. Uh, that way you can take this out uh, easily and cut the um, cheesecake into squares. So I sprayed it with some nonstick spray and I used a napkin, just a kind of uh, a paper towel to wipe it out so that way it's not soaking in grease or anything. Add the crumbs to your pan and then just spread it out the best you can like with a spatula. And then what I do is I take a measuring cup and then I pat it down, uh, rub it across and pat it down. That way it kind of um, makes it a little bit more solid and the crumbs aren't as loose. So that way when you go to bake it, it kind of sticks together. And I'm just kind of getting some of the crumbs off the sides but i put it in a preheated oven on 325 for 10 minutes so you will need to have softened cream cheese and in the packaging i wanted to show you and i've done this before you can put this in the microwave for just 10 seconds and that helps to soften it up if you forget to put the cheese you know the cream cheese out on the counter which i have done many times so that's a quick way to do that so add the cream cheese to your bowl and then I usually mix this up first. You can add the sugar to it as well, but I add the sugar after I mix it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna mix that together. And then once you have that, add your sour cream to it. Add the vanilla extract. And then add the flour. Mix that up before adding the eggs. Once it's mixed up, you add the eggs, but you want to mix this um, not too much. <laughs> so you just want to get those eggs incorporated into it, but you do want it blended in. You just don't want to over mix it because uh, I think it, I believe it says it can crack the cheesecake and it bakes. But in the end of it, there's a little bit of cream cheese in the middle of that whisk. I tried to get off, so I just did it real fast and got it mixed in. So. I divided this cheesecake mixture into three bowls and you want one bowl with just the white so put that to the side and then you will dye one red and then dye the other blue so just get it to that consistency of the color that you want and when you're done mixing everything you will have a red white and blue color uh, for your cheesecake so just by spoonfuls you're going to add a checkerboard pattern so each spoonful will sort of look like a square in a way and you do not want to put the same color next to each other so try to have a random color pattern on here uh, to where they're not you know you don't have two blues and two reds and two whites you know next to each other and then you're just going to put I had to put a second layer. Like I said, I did not, you know, 
wasn't able to get it to go completely across with just one layer. I think I made my squares a little big, but that's okay. So I just went back and with the corresponding colors, put the cheesecake mixture on top. And don't worry if it splashes like that to get into the other color because this is gonna be, um, it's gonna be swirled in. But I'm also gonna cover it up when I go back to use the blue. So that's all you have to do is just continue to put your squares. And basically it's just, I just had to put that extra layer on there. So one layer and then the other layer, you know, with the corresponding colors, just to finish up the cheesecake uh, mixture. And you can see you end up with sort of a checkerboard look. So take a butter knife and then just pull it through the cheesecake and you kind of just swirl it through in different ways back and forth to get a design so that way it's red white and blue and do not touch the crust on the bottom though so try to just make sure you're just doing you know within the top and the middle and once you have the colors swirled through the cheesecake then you're going to put this in the oven on 325 for anywhere between 45 and 50 minutes. And I believe I cooked mine, I baked it for 50 minutes. So just, your, depending on your oven and how it heats up and everything, you'll have to, you know, judge that. But you're gonna do a water bath. So take a, I just took a pan, filled it halfway with water, and that's gonna go in the oven on the bottom of the rack that the cheesecake will be on. So this helps to stop it from cracking. So you put your cheesecake pan on top, on the top rack. This is what it will look like uh, when it comes out. You do wanna take a knife after about five minutes of letting it cool and just kind of run it along the sides of the pan so that way it releases. Otherwise it will crack because it'll pull away from the pan, uh, but it'll crack the the cake. So I'm kind of releasing it just a little bit, um, but you want to make sure the cake's been out for about five minutes or so and just kind of run it along the side just so that way it doesn't pull as it's cooling and cracks. So once you do that, I let it sit out for about an hour. You want to let it cool and then I put it back. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and I let it sit overnight. You can do it four to six hours, but I want it to let it sit uh, overnight and see how that would work. And once you take it out, once the cheesecake is set, make sure it's set, take it out of the pan by lifting it up with the foil. And you can cut these into squares. And I usually just uh, scrape off the knife as I go and wipe it off. And then you have a clean cut every time. And this is what it looks like when you have them into little squares. So this was such an easy recipe to make. And I think the end result is really pretty. So I enjoyed making these. These were fun to do. I think this these would be fun for kids to do as well. So this is, you can leave it plain just as is. Or you can add a little bit to it and just put some Ready Whip or Cool Whip on top and some um, 4th of July type sprinkles or whatever you want and these were really delicious and I think if you bring this to a barbecue you will be thanked <laughs> these were really good so if you like cheesecake this is definitely one to make now please don't forget to check Clarissa and Ashley's channels down below and don't forget to check that playlist so I know you're going to find lots of good delicious desserts to make this summer so please don't forget to check that out I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more like it, please click that subscribe button and the notification bell. That'll notify you when I post new videos. And I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate each of you. And I hope that you have a blessed week. God bless y'all.